are we going to be making apple and blackberry custard torte with a disarona glaze. Here we have half a cup of ground almonds. And that goes into your processor with the S blade. We're also adding a quarter of a cup of pitted dates, that goes in. For spices, we have half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a dash of nutmeg. Just going to grab a spoon. We also have for the oil, we have a tablespoon of organic coconut oil. Okay, so we're going to process this. So on goes the lid. So we're going to hold this. generous servings, but you could make four, four smaller ones. So, this actually smells lovely, very festive with the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Okay, so we're just going to press down very, very firmly into our moulds. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is making our custard. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out. Okay, so we're going to swap these over. Okay, and for the custard, it's the same as the, the pie base mixture. It's half a cup of the, the ground almonds. We're also adding um, just over a tablespoon of bird's custard. We have a tablespoon of maple spirit syrup. That goes in a medium banana. If you remember your childhood banana custard, this will give you that flavour. It's absolutely lovely. Okay, I'm going to add tiny amount of water. Okay, so we're going to pulse that up. While we're waiting for that to do, we're going to get on and start with our glaze. We have a bathroom in here. We're just going to put the water on underneath, on to number five. Okay. We've got a tiny amount of water here. It's about a quarter of a cup. That goes in. And we're going to add all to the tablespoon of the agar agar. So we're just going to stir the agar agar. It will start off cloudy. When it goes clear, you know that it's ready. We're also going to add a generous amount of the disarano, which is obviously a wonderful flavour. It's about a tablespoon. We're going to be adding. That's good. And check on our custard. So we're just going to turn that off. We'll take that away. We're just going to put this out of the way so you can see a little bit better. We're going to get our serving plate back. Okay. To get a spoon down, we're going to ladle on our almost like our confectioner's type custard. This is absolutely amazing. It's so smooth and creamy and there now. So I'm just going to put that out of the way. Now we need to just gently pat it down. This is just really a you know presentation thing. Just pat it down in there. Put on our pieces of apple. Now how I've managed to get them nice and thin is I've just used an ordinary peeler and nice and thin. Cover the whole of the custard. Okay. And it's it's quick, it's simple, it's nutritious. It's a great way of using fresh fruit. So we have a nice fusion of flavours and tastes and textures. Just going to put the blackberries on the centre here. Now we're just going to ladle the glaze. So we just want nice equal firm pressure and just lift up like that. That's perfect. Okay. So please go to hotrawchef.com to vote for me. Don't forget, do it now. That's hotrawchef.com to cast your people's choice vote for me, Tanya Lacey. Thank you very much.
Enjoy your holidays.